What kind of player is Wayne Rooney? I think he's the perfect partner for, for a striker. So as myself, as a striker, I would like to play with a player like <clears throat> Wayne Rooney because I always said he's the perfect partner because <clears throat> he's not ego, he's a team player. He runs a lot, he fights a lot, he sacrifices a lot, he scores goals, he makes beautiful assists. He's the complete partner, so I didn't have the luck to play with him and uh, and he would be the, I, how do you say, the ideal, ideal, ideal. ideal partner for, for a striker. So whoever played with Rooney, he has to be very happy and lucky because for sure he made them much better than what they were. When we did an interview with him a few weeks ago and he talked about when he played with Cristiano um, and Cristiano was really starting to go to another level and Wayne said, well, I was just happy if, to do whatever I needed to do to help him. Um, do you think he's in some ways too helpful to others? I think <clears throat> things he does, he don't get really credit he deserves to get because, I mean, another player is Paul Scholes. Everybody was talking about all the other stars, but less about Paul Scholes. But for me, the the big United were when when it was the big United was Paul Scholes. He was the main player, and same thing with Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney, for me, when he played with Cristiano, all the work was done by by Wayne Rooney. But he didn't get the credit that Ronaldo got because Ronaldo was scoring all the amazing goals, a lot of goals, and uh, so on, so on. So. I think he did what he needed to do and he's still doing it when Rooney he done he's too helpful good he doesn't think about himself only he thinks about the team he wants to win he does everything to win so he has the, he, has, he has done a fantastic job he had a fantastic career so far and uh, being himself and playing the way he does is because of that so no, no, I think opposite. He he did good. In some, it's strange, <coughs> but in England, there's there's a kind of there's an attitude with some people that say that Wayne Rooney can't be considered a great player for England because he hasn't won a major tournament. Uh, there's a kind of kind of English arrogance there about that kind of thing. I think uh, when it comes to winning trophies, it's not about one player. I mean. If we would play tennis, yes, it's an individual sport, but now we play a collective sport. So it's not about Wayne Rooney only. He has a big responsibility, yes. He has a big major in the part, yes, but it's not only him that decides the tournament and uh, to win the, the trophies, let's say. So, But for me, he's a great player, no doubts. I mean, if I look back to English players, for me, the one I will remember, it's, it's Wayne Rooney and David Beckham. And then you have some others, but these are, these are my main targets I, I would think about when I think about it. Do you know many of the other England team? I know many players. I mean, I think the Premier League is pretty hyped, so they get, they get big uh, publicity international. So, I mean, you have Steven Gerrard, you have Lampard. You have, if we go back, Gary Lineker, Paul Gascoigne. They're big players from the, from, from the past. Now, you've been at the pinnacle of the international game and the global game for a long time. Um, and, and your career is a similar duration to Wayne. How difficult is it to maintain for that long at the top? I think it's difficult. I think uh, big players, these great players, they, they have their moments. And when, I'm say, when I say they have their moments, it's... It's while in one to three, three years, but to continue for five years, for 10 years, like when Rooney has done it, it's not easy. It's pressure every day, playing for big team every day. <clears throat> People are satisfied today, but tomorrow they want something else. They want even more. And I think, uh, I don't know him personally, but I think he's more or less like me. He's never satisfied. He always wants more when he has done something good. He always wants wants to do more the the game after. So, and playing for Manchester United, yeah, I think it's a big pressure. So it's not an easy job. Then outside also, you need to be professional, doing your job there because you have eyes on you 24 hours. So, and uh, 
and I don't think people really understand that because they always ask something from the football player, but they don't understand really the situation, how it is and how big sacrifice it is be behind everything. Yeah. So it's a big pressure. And what about big. growing up in public? You know, for you, 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 uh, a player <coughs> burst on the scene, for example, Wayne Rooney burst on the scene in 2004. He was, he was 18, 19. But it is, is it easy when you start your career and then suddenly you're like, okay, now I've got to mature and... and I think uh, you do mistakes. I mean, I did a lot of mistakes. I will still do mistakes and I will learn from my mistakes because <clears throat> nobody is perfect. And uh, it doesn't exist the word perfect today. And uh, for sure, when Rooney did his mistakes and, and I think the situation in England is also when somebody is an upcoming star. I mean, they look for him, they wait for him to do something. Whatever it is, <clears throat> becomes hyped big and uh, and he was in <clears throat> in that picture so but I think he handled it good he has become mature but that is nothing you choose that is something you become automatically by the age by the experience and uh, and he became the one he was supposed to become so not easy not easy because of the focus the hype he has have around him and uh, but he has handled it good. I like, I like the way he has done his things because he's a little bit like me, like a, like a bad boy. I like that image. And he's like you in that um, he's a world-class player playing for a, a, a team that might not be full of world-class players at international level, I think. Is that fair to say? I mean, he still plays in Manchester United. I mean... Every team has his moments, and uh, United ha had their moments looking for for new challenges, looking for new players to, to get to the big stage, let's say. And uh, and uh, as long as he, he is in Manchester United, he will always be challenging the, the big trophies, to play for the big trophies. So, But every team ha have their moments, absolutely. What's it like to be the... the the highest goal scorer for your country. Just explain that to us. I think it's amazing because I was chasing it for uh, for one, two years. And when I broke it, I mean, it's amazing to have your name on the top of the list. And uh, I mean, the Swedish record was 80 years old, was uh, for a long time, nobody has beating it, beat the record. And uh, many big players have been playing in the national team. You have Henrik Larsson and uh, you have other big strikers also that didn't succeed and then I come from nowhere and I broke the record and it um, feels amazing. While it happens to play for your country, it's a big honor. To be the captain for your country, even bigger, bigger. But to break the record as a striker, I mean, it's amazing, these three combinations. And uh, when Rooney has the possibility, he will break it for sure, and uh, but I think you you really realize what you have done after your career, because while you're active, it's you're still looking for new challenges, for for new objectives to 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 break or to take. So, but it's amazing. It's it's a big thing. The English record stood forty five years. So. Now it's time to break it, and the man will be Wayne Rooney. So I don't know his story 100%, but for sure in the beginning people were complaining and this, same thing with me. He's not, uh, he's not that, he's not that, always something to say, but now he's in the, he's in the zone to break the record. Now I want to hear what people say when he breaks it. That not many have imagined, but he will do it, so... Same thing with me. Feels amazing. So he, is he a player, and a, a, someone who's who's had a career, uh, someone who you really identify with? There's many parallels between the two of you. I think every player has his own story. I think you cannot compare players' quality with uh, another one because every player has his own quality. But I think you can compare with the st statistic, the trophies you win. Yes, and uh, I think when Rooney had a fantastic career he won big trophies a lot of trophies scored a lot of goals 
Squame did a lot of assists in the field, and for sure he, he made other players bigger, better. So, I mean, I didn't know what his goal was when he started to play, but for sure he achieved every goal he wanted to achieve. So, But comparing individual players with another ones, I think it's difficult. You don't do that because every player has his own story. Have you um, ever, ever met Wayne? Have you, have you... I played against him. I played against him. And uh, for me, it, I would like... I, prefer to have him in my team than playing against him so but I didn't have had that luck and uh, I mean I enjoy seeing him on the pitch when he's playing so if I cannot play with him I will I will watch him like I'm doing was he playing in the game where you scored four goals no he wasn't I don't think so no he was not there no because I'm sure he maybe it wouldn't a wink that night. no I wouldn't I don't know if it would happen if he would play <laughs> and uh, it, did, have you ever met doing advert work or commercial work? No, or no, we haven't been in the same place for for the for the same work. Let's say. Because no. what would two iconic players like who who are the, the icons in their respective countries, if they were to just sit down over a beer, what would you talk about? I don't know him personally, but I think for sure we wouldn't be talking about football. That's the first rule because. You play football every day. You think football every day, and uh, and for sure you wouldn't have talked about that. I think about all all other things. I don't know his interest, but for sure there's many things to talk about. Especially when you get one or two beers, then the imagination becomes even better. <laughs> because fundamentally, great players, iconic players, that. Uh, human beings at the end of the day aren't they you know you're... I hope so <laughs> <laughs> and, and I, one of the key things for me is, is having met Wayne is that he's a very down to earth guy who just loves playing football and, and that's it okay. there's a, there's a um, have you heard the term street footballer um, he, he's the David Moore said he's the last street footballer in England okay um, meaning like yourself it, not not out of a packet, you know. Okay. Uh, do you so? Uh, do you understand the, the idea? Yeah, he lives for football. He does everything for football. He is football. Yeah, like I said, I don't know him personally, but for me, he 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 was born to play football. He is that player. He is not made or something like that. Training product. How do you say? For me, he is the football. So. No question about it. You just see him play because I think the way people when they look football they they make a certain judgment. But football players when they see another football player, they have their own vision and they think differently from the from the people that is on the side that hasn't really played football. So for me, he is a talent. He was born to play football. Absolutely, you can see it. He's a typical player. He can be without football couple of years when he comes back you will see that he belongs to the football so he is that kind of player Great and goal. not many and not many players are are in that zone very last question there there are many people I would kind of cover this already but there are some people in England who say he hasn't actually fulfilled his talent does that make any sense to you whatsoever I think there will always be people complaining I mean same thing with me People, whatever you do, they will they will be happy and not happy. Because when you're number one, people try to get you down from number one spot. And for me, Wayne Rooney is the number one. And people will always complain. They will always have something to say because you're the number one. So he did everything he was supposed to do and even more. So Wayne Rooney is... is as a strong personality, and he should only look in his mirror, in the, in the mirror, and say, "I did what I could do." So, and and from us that are professional football players, we, we can say that because we see it. So, whoever says something, they're they're mistaken. So, but it will be even more exciting when he beats this beat this record. So, that's another history he's doing.